filmed the entire intro to this video and my microphone wasn't even switched on. So now I have to film it all again. Great. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below. I talk about languages a lot and language learning. I make travel videos and I'm currently studying abroad in Lyon in France. So I make a lot of videos about that as well. So if you are interested in any of those types of videos, then definitely make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. So this video is going to be a typical day in the life at a French university as an exchange student um, to give you a bit of an idea of what it's like to study abroad or what it's like to study in France. Um, obviously, it's not the best idea, I guess. I can only, um, it's not, because we're not living in normal times. So obviously if you're watching this now and you study abroad next year, um, hopefully the situation will be a bit different. Obviously it depends on which country you're studying abroad in because some are ahead on vaccines and others. Um, I know most of Europe is quite behind. So compared to other countries like like the, the UK, so yeah, I'm quite excited to go home and get my vaccine, not gonna lie. Um, and go back to normal hopefully this summer that's what they're saying um but we'll, but we'll see how true that is but hopefully soonish um but yeah rambling on getting carried away but yeah obviously the situation is quite different so for example all of my classes are currently online um i did have one class that was in person um that was um a french as a foreign language class uh, but that class has now finished um unfortunately because I feel like that class is very useful. I mean, I'm here to learn French. Um, I'm quite sad actually that that was my first class to finish, but then that class did start two weeks earlier than my other classes, um, a lot of my other classes. So I guess I can't really complain. I mean, it started a week earlier actually, I think, than some of them, two weeks and some of them, I don't know. I, I would have liked some more classes, but whatever, it, it's, it's over now and um, yeah. Um, not everybody has only classes online. Um, so currently Leon is actually in a confinement, uh, which means, well, I'm saying confinement because in my opinion it is not a confinement. So confinement um, means lockdown, um, confinement, very similar to English, yeah, confinement. It's, it's their word for lockdown and we've got stronger restrictions here and they started on Saturday. It's currently Monday. Um, but we're still allowed to meet up with six people outside and we're still allowed to go within 10 kilometers of our household. We're just not allowed to, in our household of where we live and we're just not allowed to um, travel to other regions without a varied reason and without filling out a form to say what our reason is that we can show um, to the police if they ask us um, why we're going to this place or whatever, you know. And that kind of thing um, and universities are still open schools are still open it, literally the only thing that's different is that we can't travel to other regions and that the shops and non-essential shops are not shop i think that's basically pretty much the only difference yeah some people have classes in person it just kind of it depends on what your course is and what year you're in um yeah i'm rambling on hopefully i can show you a little bit of what a typical day is like. Um, obviously I already had one class this morning which I did kind of film a bit of and if you did see that, I'm guessing I would have shown you some of that class, um, you would have realised that my room is an absolute mess, my workspace was an absolute mess, my bathroom is also a mess, I also need to take out the bins. So first of all I'm going to go do that, I've got another lecture, uh, another seminar at um, 11 which is translation from French into English. Um, and we prepared the translation in advance. We we're just kind of talking through solutions and stuff. So hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. Not as bad as the class I had this morning. It was a German seminar, but um, we do like translations from French into German and German into French, which kind of annoys me as I chose that module because it was the only second year module that didn't say that it was a translation module from either French into German or German into French and yet in that seminar, in the seminar for that class we do translation. Luckily in the lecture, in the lecture we do uh, grammar, I definitely need to go over grammar but yeah it's a bit um, 
and I am but it is what it is and hopefully I can just scrape a pass in that class but I don't know because sometimes I know the German but I don't know the French and sometimes yeah sometimes when we're translating from French into German I won't know the French so then I don't get the full context or whatever it just yeah I just stressful I can see why professional translators always translate from one language into their mother tongue but anyway um I have a class at 11 and because oh my god it is 22 11 I thought it was earlier than that I guess that's what happens when you have to refilm clips so yeah I'm gonna go um quickly try and tidy up my room a bit because I did want to check my emails before the class as well but I don't think I'm gonna have time so yeah I'm gonna go do that bye <laughs> park with this fort for a walk and as you can see the reality is I want to get a nice picture of the fort and there's a big I don't even know what it's called border with graffiti on it so yeah not the not the best oh yeah I usually film on my camera but uh, not my phone but forgot to bring it with me so yeah film on my phone instead hopefully you can hear me i'll try and be a better youtuber next time also it's actually like almost kind of summer weather and i'm wearing a crop sweatshirt and mum jeans and i'm dying um probably should have worn something a bit more appropriate but um I need to do laundry, so this is what we're wearing. <laughs> this is the problem with travelling, can I only bring too much, so much stuff in my suitcase and like, ways to do laundry. I don't even have any change on me to do laundry, so I'm gonna have to make a trip to the boulangerie, I guess, and buy something <laughs> to get some change. Hi everyone, so I'm back from the park now. Um, the park I went to um, is called Park Blandon. I don't think I mentioned the name. Um, in the previous clips but yeah I just thought I'd mention it now in case any of you are interested but yeah it turns out I didn't have to die in the heat for no reason because well to be fair I did have a dress and I did also have a nice top but I was like mm, like that are clean and I was like well you know a walk in the park and staying in and doing online lectures is it really the, you know the, the occasion to wear a nice top or, or, or a dress and I was like, well, I'm sure it's warm, but not that warm, like a sweatshirt and jeans will be fine, like a crop sweatshirt. <laughs> I was wrong. And also, uh, I had a jumpsuit that I completely forgotten about that I could have worn that was that is clean. Um, but I guess I'll wear that tomorrow when I do my laundry, because I don't really have time to do laundry today, other than like a little bit of hand washing. But I don't have time to go and get changed to use like the proper machines so yeah and I still need to sort out my workspace I still haven't tidied it I mean I've finished tidying my bathroom now um I kind of need to sweep the floor up as well yeah a lot to do and I've got to upload a YouTube video get that ready because otherwise I need to get ready early because last time I uploaded a video and scheduled it for like an hour later when I checked when it went live it was saying that my video was only available in a in SD, not HD. So I need to get up nice and early so that it can process HD in time because I don't think anyone wants to watch a video in SD quality. I mean, and I feel like the algorithm won't show it to as many people as well if it's in that quality. So yeah, I need to upload that. I need to sign my workspace. I need to check my emails again because I'm waiting for a specific email. That's what I need to do. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do now. Also, yes, I did eat a milk or chocolate bunny that I was meant to be saving until Easter Sunday during my lecture. But 
we were learning about French food and it made me so hungry and that was the only thing in that I had that I could just grab and eat quickly so I had no choice. Bonsoir! It's been a while as you can probably tell from the change in lighting. I'm sorry I don't have any professional lighting so I usually just use like daytime like natural lighting um, but yeah I mean even if I did have professional lighting I wouldn't have had space to bring it with me in my suitcase to France so yeah we're just working with the lighting that I've got I mean yeah we're just gonna have to deal with this um, yeah it's been a while so after that lecture yeah I kind of just replied to emails and did like little things and I was meant to be calling my parents at 5 UK time, 5 p.m. UK time because it's uh, because it's my mum's birthday today <laughs> and then they were actually busy at the time they were meant to call me and they were like oh we'll call you soon and then like 50 minutes later for whatever they hadn't called me so I was like well I'm gonna go make dinner because otherwise if I wait by the time they call me I'll be really late so I had some falafel and um like I fried onion and tomatoes and like garlic and herbs and stuff with it and had potatoes and sauce algerian which is like the best sauce ever um, but I can't buy it I don't think we could buy that in the UK so yeah just making the most of having that whilst I'm in France it's definitely something that I'm going to miss um, when I go back home um, but yeah and he literally called me just as I was eating that um, so then I got behind on like washing up and doing stuff and I'm like she just kind of like got to a point in the evening now where I'm like right what what am I gonna do next and I've realized it's like 9 p.m so probably not too much because I did kind of want to have a, a chilled night um, because I did a lot of work at the weekend I mean I, I, I yeah I did a lot of work at the weekend so kind of want to chill a bit and I've got something that I've got to do in the morning um event that I'm doing not for university here actually um doing it with Bangor and Cardiff University um, about promoting languages so yeah an online virtual event that I've got going on tomorrow so yeah I do want to have a bit of a chilled one but I also feel like I need to learn some Korean because I've mentioned before that I'm doing a beginner's Korean class here and I know I've got an exam coming up soon and I haven't added any Korean vocabulary to my um, memorize um, page that I've created. I'm using memorize right, not Anki. Can't remember why. Oh, I think it's because it's just, I don't know. I can't remember why. I decided to use memorize for it, whatever. Um, so I need to add more words because like, yeah, it's starting to get to a point where I'm like, I don't know a lot of the vocabulary she's mentioning in class, so I need to, add them to my list as I know the vocabulary that comes up in class is what's going to come up in the exam um, and yeah I've created my own little Korean class on Memorize because you can do that but um, for Korean into French because one of the exams well I'm not sure if it will be but one of the last exams I had was a translation from um, Korean into French French into Korean so and you know I am learning Korean through the meaning of French so I feel like I through the meaning through the medium of French so yeah it's just it's just easier for me to do it like that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and I might catch up on some YouTube because I feel like I haven't really watched many YouTube videos in a while um, and I'll see you all in the next video hopefully you enjoyed it I forgot to say subscribe and stuff oh yeah subscribe follow me on Instagram you know what to do, turn on that notification bell, comment down below um, if you're interested in studying abroad, if you want to study abroad in France, if you want to study abroad somewhere else, if you studied abroad, I don't know, let's have a little chat in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!